Hello. There's a bit of a delay, but we're just going to have to work with it for now. Um, continuing from my last uh, video uh, and the fiasco that I experienced with my son. Um, yeah, it, it forces you, having a child forces you to kind of be very honest with yourself and work on those things. Work on your tolerance. Work on our patience. Work on, you know, uh, just growing as human beings and no matter what stage of your life that you're in there's always always room to grow and it can be a very beautiful thing so I'm so grateful to have a child because uh, day in and day out he's teaching me more about myself than you know I ever could have asked for but also is, is, a, is a joy to watch you know and I and I really appreciate the way he's changing me and these are the things that for all mothers whether you're pregnant or whether you've given birth already, I encourage, you know, be, be as into your experience as you can be, you know, especially for a first time mom, <laughs> especially if it's your first time, you know, uh, take it all in. Don't take any of it for granted. And, you know, just, just enjoy them. Just enjoy them. Tete. Tell everybody how big you are and you still want Tete. <laughs> He's a year and about six, seven months, and here it's normal for a child to nurse all the way up to about two years old, unless you get pregnant, in which case you would have to stop, nursing, which I can get into the logic for that in my next video. Um, but a lot of people, when they see him, think that he's two or past two. But um, he's not. <laughs> he's just very large. So I think when people see him nursing, they're like, really? <laughs> You're not done nursing yet? As big as you are. <laughs> but we're kind of slowly ebbing back. Yeah. Whoa. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Or I'm going to say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye. So our connection isn't great, but we hope that you got all of it. Bye-bye. <laughs> say bye-bye. Okay, till next time.